it used to represent freedom. I'm not sure what it represents anymore. I'm V the Amazing Greek. I thank you for tuning into my channel. Uh, today I'm going to, as my wife said, jump on the bandwagon or the anti bandwagon and talk about what happened with Phil Robertson of the show Duck Dynasty and the A&E Network. Now they're having a uh, typical knee jerk reaction to Mr. Phil Robertson paraphrasing a part of Corinthians out of the Bible in which uh, it says uh, no homosexuals, thieves, uh, whoremongers, and there's a few other ones, liars shall not enter the kingdom of God or heaven. Uh, these things, you know, to God are unacceptable if we do these things, if you're a liar or a stealer, you know. We've all done these things. Uh, the great thing about Christianity, the belief, uh, is that we know we're not perfect and we can uh, be forgiven and keep trying. Okay, so... With that said, him quoting that, paraphrasing it, uh, in an article for GQ magazine, and saying this, and a couple other little things, uh, he made a comment about, you know, a, a woman's vagina is much more pleasurable or desirable than a man's anus. You know, just for his thinking common sense. And it is. I mean, you know, to, I guess... A straight people let's say that well of course uh, for saying these things they call it discriminatory uh, remarks against the homosexual community and then the how does it go lesbian gay bi transgender and whatever I don't know what comes after that multi-gender or something I, I don't know how far we're going with this but uh, they thought that that was discriminatory language against those people. He never said nothing about hating people. He even said in the article that he embraces and loves his fellow man. And the Bible, so people can understand, it does not say to hate homosexuals, to hate thieves, to hate warmongers. We're supposed to hate those sins. Okay, love the people, hate the sin. So all of you people who jump on, oh my God, the Christians are anti this. No, the Bible is a manual on how to live life. Okay, it's for everybody. Not everybody believes it, not everybody agrees with it. But regardless of that, that is the word of God. It's here on earth. We're supposed to follow that to best of our abilities and try Christian, to be Christ-like. That's what that means. Because God hates homosexuality, because he didn't design us for that, because God hates thievery, you know, he doesn't want us doing it, he doesn't want us lying to each other, you know, he doesn't want us sleeping around, you know, he wants us to do what he says. And everybody that jumps on the wagon and says, oh, that's, you hate gays. Never said that. It says to hate the sin, Try to help the person. That's the Christian thinking. Of course, somebody who might be gay might say, oh, who the hell are you to help me? That's fine. But don't say it's a discriminatory thing against people. That's just wrong. Now, I have heard that, uh, and this just happened this, I believe this morning is when I first heard of it, and it started kind of blowing up. Uh, luckily, I got a tweet from Alex Likes Sog, S-O-G, the knife company. And had a little thing about that, hate what they did to Phil Roberts. And I was like, what the heck's going on? You know, and I found, found out what's going on. This is the same type thing, actually worse than what happened to Paula Dean. Something that's happened not on TV, not on the set, not during filming. It's outside of all that. You know, hers used the N-word, talking about black people. People got touchy about that. They canned her. Got rid of her product lines from Walmart, places like that, you know. So that's discriminatory talk 
towards people. Hating homosexuality, thievery, you know, gossip, all that, that's not against people. That's against the sin. So you need to separate that. Nobody said he hates, you know, this gay guy. It's the sin. That That's the bottom line. And this was for a magazine article in which he was interviewed. You know they're going to ask him about his belief structure. It's evident on the show, which the producers of the show in the past tried to get him and his family to quit using the word Jesus so much. Why? Well, there's an anti-Christian campaign out there. They, people hate Christians. They, they just do. I don't know why. Well, I know why, but that's a whole other preaching thing. I'm not going to get into that. But the attack on the Christians is on. It's been on for years. Uh, this is just their way of on the TV trying to get him out of there. It's bad. Uh, I have heard of people who have already went and bought Duck Dynasty brand items. They're taking them back to the stores, get their money back, and they're buying the uh, Duck Commander products, thinking Duck Dynasty money goes towards A&E. Duck Commander, more of the money actually goes to the Robertson family and their setup. I don't know if that's true or not. I would research that, but if it's true... That's what I would do. Uh, I hope that, and they have the money to do it, the Robertsons get lawyers for this, because when they start infringing, and it's not even our free speech, it's our beliefs. If we're not allowed to believe what we want, one of the founding things of this country uh, that we were built on, you know, freedom of religion, to worship like we want, that, man, that's, that's the end of it. Once they start doing that, they, anything we say, think, I mean, it's getting bad. It, they shouldn't be like that. Um, I don't know. My, my wife asked me, well, why are you going to put your two cents in, you know? What has it got to do with you? Well, if I'm not allowed to express my beliefs, well, it starts up here. Somebody famous, Phil Robertson. And it works its way down to B-list person, then the C-list. And then by the time it gets down to me, down on the bottom of nobody, nothing, who's going to speak up? That's what happened to the Jews. Oh, they're rounding up Jews. Well, I'm not a Jew. I'm Protestant. I'm not going to worry about that. Well, and they came round up the Protestants. Well, I'm a Catholic. I'm not going to worry about that. They're not getting Catholics. Well, by the time they come for you, there's nobody left to speak up, you know? So you got to say something. This is wrong. Uh, I hope and I suspect that a lot of mail, emails, uh, the uh, petitions, things like that, are going to be headed to A&E saying this isn't right. The people that watch that show know what the show is about. They know what the beliefs of these people are. They're Christian people. You're going to see it. You can't hide it. I mean, come on, you know. Um, it's bad. It's real bad. Um, so I, I don't agree with it let me know what you think in the comments you know you don't like it don't watch there's a lot of channels on cable man I mean if I don't like something I turn it you know watching a YouTube video eh, I don't know about that that's crazy I go somewhere else I don't freaking start a campaign oh that was offensive to me as a Greek saying that in Athens they used to you know have sex with each other and that's history what the hell am i gonna do that's not offensive to me i don't do that so it doesn't matter you know but let me know what you think i'm v the amazing greek uh i hope they get a lawyer because man i mean you know if somebody came after me for my little nothing that i do i'd get a lawyer okay you trying to infringe upon my rights when they have nothing to do with what you're paying me for you're paying me to fix machines or you're paying me to to work on this or produce parts that's fine you got me for eight hours a day or whatever after that don't you don't need to worry about what I'm doing you know maybe I race dog sleds or maybe I breed dogs or maybe on uh, cat shows I go to cat shows or something somebody hates dogs you know oh he's a dog 
they might come after me for something stupid like that. You know, I'm just that's a very exaggerated point. Um, but yeah, you, you got to stand up to this stuff. It's it starts at one place and it works its way down. You know, they're coming after this guy. Hell, what? Obama's not fired. Look at what he did. He lied to the people about what he wanted to do. You know, when he got elected, none of that stuff came true. That was a breach of verbal contract, basically. All the crazy things he's done, nothing's happened to him, but we're going to go after a guy who quotes the Bible. That's not right, you know. So that, that's just one man's opinion, and apparently a lot of other people from what I've read today online. So I'm going to be the amazing Greek. Uh, stay true to what you believe in, and don't 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 be a piece of paper and just fold. Because it's you know you have a spine for a reason. You're supposed to stand up to things and for what's right. You know. So y'all have a good one. I'll catch you on the next video.